If you've seen any of the Best Picture nominees for 2018, you might have noticed something unusual. A lot of the actors cross over into some of the other films. Some of them are very obvious, and some of them are a little more obscure. So this got us thinking, how deep does this go? There are nine nominees for Best Picture in 2018. We connected each Best Picture nominee with the actors they have in common. Here's how we did it. Now warning, some spoilers if you haven't seen these movies yet. Let's start with the obvious ones. Timothy Chalamet appears in Lady Bird as Saoirse Ronan's love interest, Kyle. He also stars in Call Me By Your Name as Elio. Call me by your name and I'll call you by mine. In Call Me By Your Name, Michael Stuhlbarg plays Elio's father. Stuhlbarg is also in two other Best Picture nominees. He plays Dr. Robert Hofstetler in The Shape of Water. This creature is intelligent, capable of language. And he is New York Times editor Abe Rosenthal in The Post. Through those two alone, we have four of the films covered. Now let's take another look at Lady Bird. Lady Bird's father, Larry, is played by Tracy Letts, who also plays Fritz Beebe in The Post. Lady Bird's other love interest, Danny, is played by Lucas Hedges. Lady Bird always says that she lives on the wrong side of the tracks, but I always thought that that was like a metaphor. Hedges also stars in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, as Mildred's son, Robbie. Catherine Newton plays Mildred's dead daughter, Angela. She also happens to be in Lady Bird, playing the minor role of Darlene. Also in Three Billboards is Caleb Landry Jones, who plays Red Welby. He's the guy who Mildred pays to put up the billboards. I guess you're Angela Hayes' mother. That's right. I'm Angela Hayes' mother. He might look familiar because he's also in Get Out, where he plays Rose's violent brother, Jeremy. Is everything okay? Also in Get Out is Bradley Whitford. He appears in The Post as a fictional character named Arthur Parsons. All right, so now we have six of the films on the board. That just leaves Dunkirk, Darkest Hour, and Phantom Thread. And this is where things get a little tricky. An actor named Davy Jones plays a soldier in both Dunkirk and Darkest Hour. Yeah, it's a small role, but it's still a connection. Also in Darkest Hour is an actor named Chris Harris, who plays a Downing Street KB. Chris Harris also happens to play a musician in Phantom Thread. So now we connected those three films together, but we're still missing a connection to the first six. This is where things got even trickier. We combed through IMDb searching for any actor that might be the missing link. Just when we thought it wasn't possible, we found her, Tracy Ruggiero. Whenever you're on sets like that, you definitely have a feeling that it's going to be something big. Tracy is a stunt performer who had roles in both Dunkirk and The Post. Yes, there were stunts in The Post. So in The Post, there was a protest scene. I was like running behind the car. I know that Meryl was in the car and she was looking at out the back as like Tom Hanks was like walking down the street. And so I know like I was like running through that scene a bunch. In Dunkirk, I played a nurse uh, in the big boat scene and um, actually like stunt nurse is what she was called because it's a stunt performer. <laughs> Literally you felt like you were drowning. It really felt like the boat was getting bombed. It's quite an honor to just have been, just to even work a day on any of those movies, a movie that Steven Spielberg directs or Christopher Nolan directs. So there you go, all nine films connected, six degrees of Kevin Bacon style, minus Kevin Bacon. <laughs>